Hello everyone, and welcome to my Immerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up newcomer Ella Forster, portrayed by former Coronation Street actress Paula Lane, has captured the attention of Emmerdale audiences on the ITV soap opera. Ella Forster, played by Paula Lane in Emmerdale, has captured the hearts and minds of viewers. Soap fans have just lately come to believe that Ella and Tom King are plotting a cover retaliation. Both people who are both hiding something have dominated separate narratives in recent weeks. In scenes that are hard to witness, Tom is concealing the fact that he is influencing and controlling his wife, Belle Dingle, through coercion. Ella, a recent arrival, is concealing information about her life outside of the hamlet, but it will eventually catch up with her. Actress Paula, 37, has been providing viewers with a behind-the-scenes look into Ella filming via her social media postings. Paula shared a behind-the-scenes selfie of herself with an umbrella emoji and wrote, Fine weather for a village feat at Emmerdale on her Instagram story. Paula uploaded a picture of herself in the changing room holding a hot beverage in a different post on Thursday. She captioned the image with the clapperboard filming emoji and wrote, Early star. It happens at a time when viewers are certain that Ella and Tom are out for vengeance, and now a hypothesis has predicted yet another significant turn. One theory is that Ella and Tom are connected and, in fact, collaborating on a revenge plot. Furthermore, according to a notion, Ella might actually be Tom's sister, Anya King. Even though Ella is a distinct character and Tom seems to be younger than Ella, fans continue to wonder if the two are related, even if this doesn't seem to be the case. One admirer wrote on X, saying, I firmly believe that Ella the doctor's receptionist and Tom King are connected in some way. Is it possible that she is his sister, Anya? In one way or another, they're both going after a member of the Dingle family. It's undoubtedly a plot of retaliation. It follows rumors circulated by fans that Ella and serial killer Mina Jutla, a former villager, may be connected. Her recent actions have led supporters to believe there may be more to her coming, despite rumors of a covert connection to someone outside the community. Fans were certain that Ella's recent mention of a buddy who pushed her to pursue a career in nursing was yet another strong indication of her potential connection to a former village bad guy. Many believe Ella may be plotting retribution against villagers and that she is connected to Mina, the serial killer. After all, Liam, the man who contributed to Mina's demise, and her sister Manpreet both work at the surgery. Since Ella is getting to know the two, is it possible that she is working for Mina, the killer, to target them both? One fan said on X, is Ella there for some kind of revenge? Indicating that other fans feel the same way. Ella is connected to Mina, who shall be returning soon, remarked another observer, while a third noted, Ella has something to do with Mina. Fans of Emmerdale are anticipating a major plot surprise for Tom King, including a potential connection to recent addition Ella Forster on the ITV soap opera. Fans of Emmerdale are convinced Ella Forster and Tom King are working together on a covert retaliation mission. Both people, who are both hiding something, have dominated separate narratives in recent weeks. In scenes that are hard to witness, Tom is concealing the fact that he is influencing and controlling his wife, Belle Dingle, through coercion. Ella, a recent arrival, is concealing information about her life outside of the hamlet, and it will eventually catch up with her. Theories from viewers suggest that both characters are out for vengeance, and now there's a new major twist being suggested. One theory is that Ella and Tom are connected and, in fact, collaborating on a revenge plot. Furthermore, according to a notion, Ella might actually be Tom's sister, Anya King. Even though Ella is a distinct character and Tom seems to be younger than Ella, fans continue to wonder if the two are related, even if this doesn't seem to be the case. 
I definitely think that there's some kind of connection between Ella the doctor's receptionist and Tom King. A fan wrote on X I wonder whether she is indeed his sister, Anya. In one way or another, they're both going after a member of the Dingle family. It's undoubtedly a plot of retaliation. It follows rumors circulated by fans that Ella and serial killer Mina Jutla, a former villager, may be connected. Her recent actions have led supporters to believe there may be more to her coming, despite rumors of a covert connection to someone outside the community. Fans were certain that Ella's recent mention of a buddy who pushed her to pursue a career in nursing was yet another strong indication of her potential connection to a former village bad guy. Many believe Ella may be plotting retribution against villagers and that she is connected to Mina, the serial killer. After all, Liam, the man who contributed to Mina's demise, and her sister Manpreet both work at the surgery. Since Ella is getting to know the two, is it possible that she is working for Mina, the killer, to target them both? One fan said on X, is Ella there for some kind of revenge? Indicating that other fans feel the same way. Ella is connected to Mina, who shall be returning soon, remarked another observer, while a third noted, Ella has something to do with Mina. It follows after Paula hinted at the reality of what her character is concealing. Emmerdale, the turbulent off-screen life of Chas Dingle star, from painful IVF to plastic surgery. For the past 22 years, Lucy Pargeter has portrayed the adored Emmerdale firecracker Chas Dingle in a number of dramatic storylines. However, her life off-screen hasn't always been easy. Chastity Dingle from Emmerdale is now going through a terrible period on the ITV soap opera, and actor Lucy Pargeter has also faced some difficulties. The fierce Woolpack landlady received a triple negative breast cancer diagnosis and made the decision to undergo a double mastectomy. When she first saw a lump on her right breast in January, her friend and former boyfriend, Dr. Liam Kavanagh, encouraged her to get it looked out. Since her mother Faith died of breast cancer last year, Chas has always been aware of the disease's potential. Her family never found out if she had a BRCA gene mutation. She saw her own mother ultimately die after an incurable breast cancer diagnosis. So for Chas to receive a breast cancer diagnosis herself makes it all the more poignant, Lucy, 47, said. She also talked about how important it was to show that anyone can be affected by cancer at any time and how she didn't want to shy away from the storyline. Our audience knows her so well, they have seen her relationships, know her faults, her passions, her insecurities, quirks, and fears. Away from the Dales, Lucy, who finished third in the 2013 season of I'm a Celebrity, has also experienced heartbreak in her private life. She and her ex fiance Rudy Colliano, welcomed their first child, Lola, in 2005. However, after 11 years of attempting to conceive, the pair was unable to become pregnant and went to in vitro fertilization. When Missy and Betsy, their twins, were born in 2017, they were ecstatic. She has already discussed the challenging road and the significance of her being transparent about it. IVF was difficult, but we are extremely grateful that the girls were born. She said to Oak, Magazine, I think it's important to be honest about everything to do with how they got here. After 12 years together, Lucy and football coach Rudy regrettably announced their split in 2019. A statement released at the time stated, Lucy Pargeter has confirmed she has separated from her long-term partner, Rudy Colliano, and while no longer together, their main priority is raising their three daughters. In more recent times, Lucy has acknowledged that she has met a new man, whose name is still unknown. She talked of her pleasure at meeting someone and her anxiety that she would never find love again as a single mother in November 2022. I'm in a new relationship now. Unique? Don't say anything. She informed the podcast Heal is Real. I'm afraid that as a single mother of three, 
I might meet someone else and realize that the first thing I have to say is that I'm not at asterisk. The thought is overwhelming. Image myself with asterisk. I used to have to asterisk tits, so image me without to asterisk. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.